Today I wanted to show you how to log into Clever.com to allow your child to access Lexia. Lexia is our school-wide reading platform and it's really important, especially right now when we are at home, so that your child can learn some really great early literacy skills. They'll learn things like sight words and digraphs and the bossy E rule and um, rhyming words and how to separate sounds and blend them back together, um, beginning, middle, and end of sounds. It's a wide variety of early literacy skills for kindergarten that are so important, especially right now. So the usernames and passwords that I sent you guys on our very first day of online learning is what you will use to access clever.com. So those usernames and passwords will not get you directly into Lexia. You have to go to clever.com first and that will sign you into Lexia. So let me show you exactly how to do it. Clever.com. Now, I will go right up here and click log in as a student. Now, I can click right here, log in with a Sammy account, because that's what your usernames and passwords are. They are your Sammy Gmail accounts. That's how you get into Google Classroom. That's how you get into anything that you want to at our school. So, use another account. I'm going to erase mine and put in a student that I got permission to use. My name is Angel Deek. So, and it's 3320. There we go. And I'll enter his password. Okay, so then it will load. And there you go. This is what your child is used to seeing every day when we are on Lexia in our classroom on our Chromebooks. So they will click this right here. I've It's favorited on almost everybody's login um, portal here. That way it just pops right up and it's easy peasy. Um, there are some other things that your child has access to. So if you are interested in any of these options, Epic Book is, is really fun as well. Zern is a fun math game. Let me know and I'll get your child set up with that. I just don't want to overwhelm you with too many information, right? Too much information right now. So let me show you Lexia. We will just click right here. It opens up in a new tab, which is fine. And then it just takes a quick second to download or launch, I should say. Press the and you hear that sound that sometimes drives me crazy in the classroom and I will tell the kids, put it on your headphone, please. <laughs> and here you go. This tells you what level you're on and it tells you how many minutes you have left to go this week. So if you see here, Angelique's goal is 60 minutes. Most of you have the goal of 60 minutes. It, it, it varies between kids, but most students have 60 minutes of a goal. So at, you don't feel like you have to get 60 minutes in one day. That would be a lot of screen time on your um, computer or Chromebook or iPad, whatever. Um, you want to close this ring by the end of the week. So try to get 60 minutes by Friday. So that means you want to be on your Lexia for 10 to 15 minutes a day. That's it. You don't want to have like 500 minutes here. That's a ton of screen time, right? You just want to close this ring. So make that your goal. You'll click on the arrow. And Get ready to warm up. Your child up. will know what to do from there. So that's how you log into Lexia. Please try and get your minutes in this week. I'm watching. I can see who logs into Lexia. I can see who's completing certificates. Some kids are on first grade Lexia. It's amazing. So keep up the great work if you've already logged in. And if you haven't, that is how you do it. I hope to see more kiddos log on this week. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.